right. So, here uh, uh, the function of vertebral column given the vertebral column protects the spinal cord and supports the head and uh, serves as the point of uh, attachment for the ribs and the musculature of the back right. So, this is regarding about vertebral column and bones and next one uh, sternum or uh, breast bone. So, the bone which is presented in the region of uh, thoracic region single flat bone that is a flat bone in the ventral midline of uh, thorax region that is a sternum right and this is called this region is called manubrium right in notes we will discuss already. So, next one are ribs. So, how many number of ribs are presented? There is 12 pairs of uh, ribs are presented. So, ribs are divided into three different types of the ribs. Those are true ribs, false ribs and uh, floating ribs. True ribs are first seven pairs are called true ribs and eighth, ninth, tenth pair is called false ribs and floating ribs are 11 and 12. These two are called floating ribs, right? So, true ribs. So, first seven pairs are called true ribs. They are attached to the thoracic vertebrae and uh, ventrally connected to the sternum with the help of a hyaline cartilage. So, ribs are attaches to sternum and uh, in the region of sternum and another region is articulates from the vertebral column. It articulates from the vertebral column and uh, attaches to where? Attaches to the sternum. They are attached to the thoracic vertebrae and uh, ventrally connected to the sternum with the help of uh, hyaline cartilage, right? Okay. And next one, vertebrochondral ribs. False ribs are also called vertebrochondral ribs. Which ribs are false ribs? 8th, uh, ninth, 10th are called false ribs. They do not articulate directly with the sternum, but the joint with the 7th rib with the help of hyaline cartilage. 8th, ninth, 10th ribs are not directly attached with sternum. 3 are jointed and attaches with 7th rib along with that it is attaches with the sternum right. So, that only it is called as vertebrochondral or false ribs right ok. And next one floating ribs. So, which are floating ribs? Last two pairs of ribs are called floating ribs rib number 11 and 12 or 11th pair and 12th pair are called floating ribs and they are not connected ventrally. Uh, no connection with the sternum or ribs right. So, here what happens? So, it is attaches with the vertebral column vertebrae uh, so articulates from the vertebrates and in the ventral side it is not directly attached it is not attaches with the sternum right. So, that so that only it is called floating ribs they are not connected ventrally no connection with the sternum or other ribs. Each rib has two articulation surfaces on its dorsal end and it is uh, and it is hence is called bicephalic. So, by means a two. So, each rib has two articulation surface. Attachment of the rib to the vertebral column is the two articulations. So, so that only it is called bicephalic ribs. Clear? True ribs, false ribs and floating ribs. True ribs are first seven pairs, false ribs are eight, nine, ten pair and floating ribs are eleven and twelve pairs. Okay? Right. And next one. Appendicular, this is regarding about uh, axial skeleton. Next one, appendicular skeleton. How many bones? 136 bones are presented. So, bones of four limbs. So, bones of four limbs are bones or limbs, uh, which is four limbs are presented in the region of uh, four limbs. That is, each four limb has 30, 30 to 2, 60. Bones of hind limbs, so 30, each hind limb 30, 30 to 2, 60, right? 60 plus 60, 120 plus griddles. Uh, 6 bones, 136 bones. So, the bones which are presented in uh, 4 limbs, right? So, here see. So, this is pectoral griddle and these bones which are presented in 4 limbs. So, the bone which is presented in upper arm humerus, this is the bone which is presented in upper arm humerus. The bones which are presented in the region of forearm from elbow to wrist that is radius and ulna two bones are presented and next one radius and ulna and the bones which are presented in the region of wrist how many eight bones are presented those are called carpals and the bones which are presented in the region of uh, palm those are called metacarpals five and the bones which are presented in the region of phalange in the region of fingers those are called phalanges so, total 14 bones, right? So, the total number of bones which are presented in 4 limbs are 30. 14 plus 5 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, right? 
so that is 30 bones are presented in each forelimb and next one bones are presented in hind limbs so each hind limb consists with 30 bones 30 to 60 right so this is this is pelvic griddle and the bones which are presented in the leg forelimbs so this is the bone which is presented in the region of thigh femur and the bone which is largest bone in the body the bone which is presented in the region of uh, knee patella one bone tibia and fibula tibia and fibula uh, these two bones are presented in the region of shank tibia and fibula tarsals the bones which are presented in the region of ankle so seven metatarsals the bones which are presented in the region of foot metatarsals five phalanges the bones which are presented in the region of toes so how many 14 so total number 1 1 1 tibia 1 fibula 7 tarsals 5 phalanges 14 right so 30 bones total number clear right next one pectoral griddle uh, go through the labeling also in ncrt labeling even go through the labeling also once Pectoral griddle. So there is two griddles are presented. Pectoral griddle and pelvic griddle. Pectoral griddle. For the, by the pectoral griddle, hands are attaches. Four limbs are attaches. By the pelvic griddle, what are attaches? Uh, four uh, hind limbs are attaches. So pectoral griddle, how many bones? Uh, four bones. Two clavicles and two scapula. Scapula is the large triangle flat bone situated in the dorsal part of the thorax between the second and seventh ribs. In the region of uh, dorsal region, the scapula, there is a flat triangle bone is presented. So here, uh, this is scapula. This one is scapula, right? It is presented in the region of dorsal region, right? And uh, where it is presented? In the region of thorax, uh, extended up to thorax, uh, the second and fourth ribs, right? The second rib to fourth rib, the scapula is extended. And scapula, shoulder blade is highly elevated ridge spine which products a flat expanse process is called a chromian process. So the sharp edge of a scapula is called a chromian and the clavicle collarbone articulate with this. So for the scapula, what is attaches? The collarbone is attaches. So this is a chromian. By the chromian, from the chromian, the clavicle or collarbone is attaches, right? Okay, so two scapulas, two clavicles are presented. And below the acromion is a glenoid cavity with articulates with the head of humerus to form shoulder joint. So here see, this is shoulder joint. For pectoral griddle, the four limbs are attaches. How it is attaches? There is a cavity is presented in the region of uh, acromion process of a scapula. So the cavity is called glenoid cavity. For the glenoid cavity, what is attaches? upper arm bone attaches that is humerus is attaches and forms a shoulder joint clear huh? so ball and socket joint up this clear right that, that is important where the glenoid cavity is presented acromion of scapula in which griddle pectoral griddle for what purpose attachment of the humerus okay right so what is collar bone clavicle is a collar bone right and next one pelvic griddle the pelvic griddle formed of two coxal bones each coxal bone formed by fusion of ilium ischium and pubis so this is coxal bone this coxal bone formed by three bones ilium and pubis and ischium this is ischium and pubis and ilium a fusion of uh, three bones fusion of means each coxal bone formed by fusion of three bones one coxal bone another side another coxal bone two coxal bones are pelvic griddle and at the point of fusion of ilium, ischium and pubis is a cavity. There is a cavity is presented in the region of uh, uh, where it is fused. Ilium, ischium and pubis is fused. That cavity is called acetabulum. So this is acetabulum. And for the acetabulum, what is attaches? The femur bone is attaches. Up to this clear. So here given the point of fusion of ilium, ischium and pubis is a cavity acetabulum to which the thigh bone articulates. The two halves of the pelvic griddle meet eventually to form a pubic symphysis containing fibrous cartilage. So the cavity which is presented in the region of pelvic griddle is called acetabulum for what purpose? For the attachment of the femur of the thigh bone. And the two halves of the pelvic griddle meet eventually to form a pubic symphysis. So both uh, coxal bones are attaches and with the